Hi and welcome to Shosa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with some important questions on econometrics. Please call or WhatsApp at the number given on the screen for any doubts or full videos on our courses. Let's see our first sum. The first question is let beta yx and beta xy represent the slopes in the regression of y on x and x on y respectively. It is show beta yx into beta xy equals to r square. Beta yx equals to summation xi yi by summation xi square. Beta xy equals to summation xi yi by summation yi square. Multiplying these two we obtain the expression for r square that is r square equals to summation xi yi whole square by summation xi square into summation yi square. Now continuing from the previous question suppose in a previous 3.6 that beta yx into beta xy equals to 1. Does it matter then if we regress y on x or x on y? It will be explaining. Beta yx into beta xy equals to 1. It matters because of causality and theory. If y is regressed on x or x is regressed on y, since it is just the product of the two that equals 1, this does not say that beta yx cap equals to beta xy cap. Let's see another question. Now we have a very important question. Spearman's rank correlation coefficient RS is defined as the following. Over here D is the difference in ranks assigned to the same individual or phenomenon and N is equals to the number of individuals. We are also given a hint that you can read for your ease. Let's see what to do. The means of the two variables are Y bar equals to X bar equals to N plus 1 by 2. And the correlation between the two rankings are R equals to summation xi yi by root over summation xi square summation yi square. Where small letters as usual denote deviation from the mean values. Since the rankings are permutations of the first n naturals, natural number summation xi square equals to summation capital xi square minus summation capital xi whole square by n this equals to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 minus n into n plus 1 by 4 whole square this equals to n into n square minus 1 by 12 and similarly summation y i square equals to n into n square minus 1 by 12 then summation d square equals to summation x i minus y i whole square and this equals summation x i square plus y i square minus 2xi yi this in turn equals 2n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 whole divided by 6 minus 2 summation xi capital xi I'm sorry yi therefore summation xi yi equals n into n plus 1 into 2n 
plus 1 by 6 minus summation d square by 2 since summation xi yi equals to summation capital xi capital yi minus summation xi summation yi whole divided by n now using this above equation that we mark it as number one we obtain n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 3 minus summation d square by 2 minus n into n plus 1 by 4 whole square uh, which is finally equals to n into n square minus 1 by 12 minus summation d square by 2. Now substituting the preceding in 1 and number 2 that is our equation for r which equals summation small x i small y i by root summation x i square summation y i square and you will get the answer now we consider the following formulations of the two variable prf model 1 is given as yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui and model 2 is yi equals to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 xi minus x bar plus ui let's see what number a is asking find the estimators of b1 beta 1 and alpha 1 are they identical and are their variances identical let's see how to find this out beta 1 equals to y bar minus beta 2 x xi and alpha 1 equals to y bar minus beta 2 cap x bar note a small xi equals to capital xi minus x bar over here this one is a capital xi and this one is a small x bar and this is equals to y bar since summation xi equals to 0 now variance beta 1 cap equals to summation capital xi whole square by n summation small xi square sigma square variance alpha 1 cap equals to summation small xi square by n summation small xi square sigma square which equals to sigma score square by n therefore neither the estimates nor the variances of the two estimators are the same I'll clear the screen so that we can do number B we need to find the estimators of beta 2 and alpha 2 and find again whether they are identical and their variances are identical or not therefore beta 2 cap equals to similarly we proceed for B and I have done the sum so that it becomes easier for you in this case however the estimates and the variance of the two slope estimators are the same now let's do the last one that is what is the advantage if any of model 2 over model 1 model 2 is easier to use with large x numbers although this is a not a problem of the present times with supercomputers and high speedy computers with processing power that reduces this problem with this we come to an end of another great video please like subscribe and click on the notification button you can contact us at the given number 
for any doubts or full videos on our courses.